Hello and welcome to the screencast on uh, Gmail offline. Um, I, I would like to, to share Gmail offline as, I would say, one of the best um, clients, Gmail clients, email clients um, on Linux. And the reason why is that, um, at least graphical um, clients, um, it has a beautiful interface. It's, it's very fast. Um, this is this is the Gmail um, offline interface. It's a it's a Chrome app, or you can also just open it in your in your browser. Um, there's a Gmail offline URL um, and a setting that you need to enable in Gmail. But once you enable it, um, it's just beautifully clean. I mean, look at it. It's it's just um, it's very nicely structured. It has offline access. So this this is my inbox, my labels. Um, it's everything is very clearly structured. Um, so, but but there's some like ah oh, this fr three flaws that I, I that I want to discuss here in this video. I mean, if they would be um, solved, this was the perfect client. Um, and I, I made some some notes. Let me see. So the first one actually is um, once when, when, once you kind of go into um, into a tab, um, Gmail offline auto selects the first entry. But this selection doesn't make this email red. So um, you actually see it on the right, but Gmail doesn't recognize this reading as, well, I've actually seen and, and read the message, but no, instead it would sh still be shown as unread. Um, so this is the first thing. The second one is that um, you cannot, you can assign labels, so you can move um, a, a conversation to a label, but you and you can filter. So thesis, I could filter, but I cannot create new labels. This is really annoying because each time I want to create a new label, I need to um, open the classical Gmail interface, a new one, um, to create a label. Um, it would be really cool and great if, if that was implemented in also the, the offline interface. And um, the last one, let me check. I created um, some notes. Oh yeah, another really annoying one. Let's say I, I'm, I'm composing a new message or I'm responding to one. So let's say re reply. Um, I actually, if, if I would just close it now, I would create a draft. Um, which I don't want to. Like, at least it should ask me um, if I close it. Hey, you just created. A I mean, I see it now here. I, I I created a draft, but it should ask me. Do you really want to create a draft? Because I I didn't even write a single word. So what I need to do really like, and I keep forgetting about it. To click on this card, and then it's actually asking me this m message. Like, do I really want to save it? Oops. Um, or do I want to discard my message? So why why cannot this show up on upon clicking the box? So I I would say the like at least for me these three things are really like oh, annoying obstacles. I mean there's no better interface. I, I I'm just honest. Um, I I tried a couple of them, but as, at least if you're a Gmail user, of course there's nothing usually better than the native um, application for that service. So, well, yeah, maybe may, many people actually just use the, the normal Gmail interface, but at least for me, I'm, I prefer to have my things offline as well and, and not always be dependent on online um, connection. So please, Gmail offline developers, if you're seeing that and and you feel like you recognize, oh yeah, that's actually mm, he he made a point. Then I would really appreciate if you um, if you find a solution um, to these issues. Thanks for watching. See you next video.